Hi friends, uh, today I came with a very small uh, video. Uh, in this uh, video, I am just explaining like how to fetch an email ID of vendor master. Let's say why, why it is uh, that much special. For example, we think like uh, vendor master, the email ID is available in the general data. That's why it will be available in the LFA1 table. Uh, but it won't be available in LFA1. That's why I got an idea like uh, we will make one small video uh, which will be useful to many people. Uh, when they work on certain kind of uh, smart forms, in pure smart form, if you want to fetch that email ID, you want to keep in the smart form. Otherwise, you are working on some customized report where you have to fetch the email ID of the vendor. In that cases, uh, we need to know the logic of how to fetch that email address from the vendor master through table. Today, we are going to learn that concept. Uh, I hope uh, with this video you can uh, you, you will be in a position to understand and uh, do on your own how to fetch the email ID. Okay, the first uh, I will just open one vendor, for example, I'm just going to address data. So this is the vendor. Uh, the vendor uh, name is Ganesh Group of Companies, and uh, the mail ID is. Ganesh dot SAP two zero one five at the rate of Gmail dot com. I have given my mail ID as for this vendor. Okay, now uh, we are going to learn how to fetch this email ID to any of the reports. If you work, how to do that? The first one is uh, we have to go to the table. I am going to SS sixteen transaction code where I will pass the table. The table is LF A one. It's a vendor general data. In this table, we can see the field called LIFNR. LIFNR is the vendor number field. Give vendor number in that field and execute it. See, as soon as you execute, uh, you will get the output. In that output, we have to take the field called ADRNR. See, this is the field ADRNR. Address number. What you have, you have to pass vendor number in LFA1 table to get the ADR NR. Just take that ADR NR and go to the table. Just open SC11 where I want. I can we can see the list of fields also. The table is ADR3, ADR3, and go to display. See, ADR3 is the fax numbers and uh, all those details will be available. And uh, now our requirement is ADR6 uh, because where we are getting the mail ID. See, email address of the business addresses. Now ADR6 where you will get the email address. And uh, now go to in the execute mode. Here you can see the field ADDRN number. ADDR number okay we have kept the field name and in this he passed the ADR address number 393683 39 pass in the address number and execute it okay I'm just increasing the width width of the table output See, you will get SMTP underscore ADDR. This is the field where we can get the mail ID. Means I can say if you write in the steps, we can get in that way. First, what we have done, pass under number, the field is LIFNR in table LFA1 and get the address number field is ADRNR. First step we have done, we, have, we got the address number from the vendor number, then pass address number here. This is ADDR number for this it was written I'm just uh, copying that
pass address number in table ADR6 and get the email ID what is that email ID field SMTP underscore ADDR okay. now we got our mail ID this logic we can use when you uh, construct any uh, smart forms for PO where you want to capture you want to give vendor email address also and also if you are making a report customized report where you are keeping the vendor name vendor description vendor number description all these things we can get from LFA1 table and all but for email ID we have to come to ADR6 in the same way we have this ADR3 uh, different tables to get different kind of data uh, today we learned uh, how to fetch vendor email address into any customized developments when you work I hope uh, this is helpful for you and uh, we have uh, these are the uh, different tables like uh, this is ADR6 for email address where we will pass the address number and get the email address where will you get the address number address number will be available from our LFA1 which is the general data of the vendor uh, if you see the general data of the vendor master where we have address number see this is the ADRNR okay, this is the address number we have to take this address number and pass in uh, AD R6 table to get the email address I hope uh, this session is useful to you to understand uh, of fetching the email address from the vendor master and uh, thanks for your time subscribe to my youtube channel and watch videos and learn thanks for your time have a good day